First of all, you look absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Just love the yellow. Thank you. You're such an icon in this space, and your show has tackled some pretty difficult topics that are trending in the news today. What is one thing that kind of kind of blew you back a little bit when you were like, oh my God, we gotta do an episode about this today? I, honestly, none of them blow me back. It's part of the reason I love our show and the reason that um, our show stays interesting to me as an actor and a producer. Um, these are the things that I'm chomping on, dealing with, trying to understand and make sense of in my own life. So it's really nice to be able to bring those stories to television. And although it's only 22 minutes and a comedy, there's a way that we touch on a lot of these things that I think unpacks and explores and starts conversation. 22 powerful minutes, the postpartum. I love that episode. Oh. I had yeah. never seen that story told in that way, and I'd never seen that story told on television, so I was really happy to be a part of it. Also, you know, I have never had a child and never been pregnant, but the way it was written, I was so easily transported into the truth of that experience, um, and I think people really connected and identified. I think people connected with it because, like you said, it's not something that is often talked about. We glamorize motherhood, we glamorize being a wife, which is fine, but there's an mm -hmm. other real life component to it Absolutely. and I think that's why Blackish is so popular so talk to me a little bit about these spinoffs yeah you have Mixedish, Grownish. Yeah. are you EP on, on those shows as well I have nothing to do with Grownish at all okay. um, Mixedish is the prequel to Bo Johnson my character's life so it's Bo Johnson as a child and I am an executive producer on that show and that's been a really wonderful transition for me, a seamless and easy and exciting transition for me that I enjoy. I'm really loving being in a position of creating stories and content and being more involved in that way. Um, my education set me up well for it. So. Oh, Brown, yeah. yes, yeah. I love it. So my last question, you have the cast of Girlfriends on. Yeah. I watched your interview with Charlemagne the God. I kept y'all watched it twice and it's like an hour long. What was it like coming together, you know, with your sisters who you essentially came of age with in this industry? It, it was a dream. I mean, it's been so special rekindling that again. It was seamless. Like we jumped right it's back. It's almost like Charlemagne wasn't even there. I was like, oh my gosh, Charlemagne. Oh, but he was so great. And there was no one else that could have done yeah. that interview um, with the kind of love and respect. But it, it I don't know. It's, it was, we, there was something very, is something very special between us. Yeah. And um, there was, it was just all over the screen there. It's amazing. I hope we get a Girlfriends I movie. So too. I always say to people, I'm like, Girlfriends is to Generation X with Insecure is to Millennials. Oh, and yeah. there could not have been an Insecure without yeah. Girlfriends. So thank yeah. you so much for thank all you that so you do.